All right, y'all. Wow, this is the beginning. Um, hey, my name is Nordista Freeze, and I have this idea. It's called a friend of a friend. And my idea is to talk to my friend tonight and, uh, you know, ask him where he's from, what he does, and, uh, and then ask for some life advice and uh, so that maybe he can help all of our lives be a little bit better. And uh, then he will recommend his friend, a friend of a friend of mine, right? And uh, the idea is just that every week, that person will bring, invite one of their friends on the next week, and I will continue to be the host and uh, just meet this next person. And uh, yeah, we'll just uh, hopefully gain some life advice and uh, meet some cool people along the way from different parts of the, you know, potentially world. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching this. Thank you so much for watching Freeze TV. Um, my name is Nordista Freeze. If you've never met me, I'm a musician out of Nashville. And uh, so that's where we're going to be starting the story. This is one of, the, one of my friends, S. Grant Parker, who is also a musician out of Nashville. He's one of my best friends. And uh, he also plays in my band. So uh, thank you. And, uh, you know, if you want to support this in a very easy and free way, you know, everyone says it. Everyone says it. But, you know, liking and subscribing and following and all that stuff, you know, it really does mean a lot. I, I'm, I'm here in my parents' basement. Uh, I don't make a ton of money. I do have a Patreon now. We have uh, just reached our fourth patron tonight. So we've had a little Discord going. Uh, so shout out to my friend Peter for joining. And we've also got, uh, let's see, Olivia, Lancaster, and Owen. So uh, yeah, we've got a little thing going there too if you do want to help in like a truly tangible way like that. But uh, besides that, just, you know, following and stuff and liking the videos and really following me on Instagram, all that stuff. It really does go a long way. Uh, all right. Hey, how's it going? That's Grant Parker in the house. How's it going? Hello, Nordista Freeze. How are you? Good, sir. I'm good, man. It's good to have you on here. Uh, you're one of my best friends. And, you know, whenever I started Fun Zone, uh, you know, months ago, you were my first guest there. And uh, I thought it'd be That's a right. fitting way for me to introduce my friend on the show, friend of a friend, and you can start the chain. Um, so we're going to walk through like basically a pretty simple process today. Um, and then after the like at the end of this episode, I'm going to ask you a friend that you want me to bring on next week and we'll uh hopefully go all the way across the world yes man so That's first awesome. for those who don't know you um you know obviously you're a good friend of mine but uh lightning strike in the background oh yes yeah it's scary it's, out here so it's oh, storming. where are you from and where do you live now i am Whoa. <laughs> i am uh i'm from nashville tennessee uh in the u.s of a and i am currently living in nashville tennessee and i have never left and i don't have any intentions to so that's really where i am yeah do you still like it in nashville what do you like about nashville i i love it in nashville and i don't understand actually i do i get them people are like man i've grown up here i've had my whole life here i gotta go move somewhere else but i've never felt that i've uh i've always felt very happy and comfortable here and um but also like there's enough people to push you to where you don't i never feel stagnant you know so uh i love it here yeah so it's what do you do great. um what do you do for work and beyond that like what do you like to do what are you passionate about do you have any hobbies or uh, interests that you like to do yeah so i uh i am a musician is what i would call myself i do other things too i do some church work where i work as a uh, do some worship ministry things and I uh, work at an elementary school, and I, uh, right now, in the midst of the uh, coronavirus, if you're watching past that, congratulations, you did it. Um, <laughs> it uh, uh, I am teaching five-year-olds online school, which is awesome, kindergarten and first grade, and uh, yeah, but, but music, musician is, I think, my primary um, title. Um, I think hobbies and and other things that I that I think that I do, um, I love I love food. I like cooking. Um, I love cool. Uh, I love coffee and tea. More tea re lately than uh, than coffee, but um, but uh, interesting. Those are a few things that I'm really into. Um, and I'm trying to like look around my room to see if there's anything else that's like <laughs> floating around that I that I like. Um, but it's mainly just music gear oh chess i'm pretty i'm back into that after watching queen's gambit highly recommend oh cool oh yeah um 
what can you tell us about chess? Like, like, how do you play chess during COVID? Like, is it all online or how does that work? Dude, it's been online since pre-COVID for me, man. When I was in college, I just like, you know, in class, laptops open, chess.com's open. I'm like <laughs> not paying attention or paying attention, but playing on the side. It's like a really, it's a really easy game for me to like have going somewhere else and do other things. It's, it's a fun multitasking game, but anyway. Right. Uh, that's cool. So what about, uh, you said you're into tea lately. Like what kind of tea do you like? Yeah. If you, uh, if you are interested in tea, the listener, um, what I would suggest is, uh, is looking up something called a uh, gong fu style of brewing. Um, one right next to me and you'll find this little thing, which is called a guy which is just a cup with a lid has some tea in it right now. And Whoa. lots of leaf, lots of leaf, very little water. And then lots of really short infusions. Um, so like 10 to 12 with this pure tea here. Um, but you can do it with any tea. That's a post-fermented tea that I've really been enjoying. Um, it's tea style, like oolong green, black, pure is awesome. Those are the four, um, those are the four regions of tea? Or those there's, there's four of many? There's more. Yeah, there's more. There's, there's I'm, I mean, I'm sure countless. But, you know, in order for people to understand what pure tea is, it's easy to like categorize it, you know yeah with everything else there so um, um what about it what about music you said you do music obviously i do you know a little bit more than the listener this is the one time that i'm going to be a little bit more informed but like <laughs> yeah you know if, if i didn't know more i would be curious just like are you like a session player like being in nashville or like do you write do you what, what does that look like yeah I, I think uh i think i'm an artist and a bandmate is what i would call myself um i uh i love being an artist I like being a front man i like writing my own songs and playing my own songs for people um but i also do a lot of uh like sideman work you know i play with this guy nordista freeze a lot play with uh jack thompson a good bit play with uh uh i've played a few gigs with pacific lately it's been pretty fun but yeah just you know whoever will uh have me on i really enjoyed getting to play with um but i think my main focus is uh is my solo solo career um so yeah that's cool that's cool that you do music so do you uh do you have any like songs coming out or is there anything like you know i don't this will be since most people on here will be just like different people doing different things but since you do something that you can promote like mm -hmm. there like a song coming out or something we can like check out i guess yeah like to talk about. yeah i think that uh I, I've I finished up a mix last night actually that I'm still like uh, you know hoping to send to mastering but I'm still not sure if it's gonna like make it you know it's one of those things mm. I uh I have I've taken a long uh, hiatus I think from creating music sort of unintentionally but also maybe intentionally through uh through COVID um and but now that I feel like I'm back on the train I moved into a new house if you go watch the fun zone episode, I'm in a different house in that one. So this is that's right. new space. Um, and I think getting settled in here and like, this sounds like super new agey and weird, but like feeling out the energy of the place and learning how to operate in a new space. Right. Um, I think was really, uh, really important. And so I'm finally like there where I'm gotten to rhythm being able to make music. So hopefully something will be coming out soon, but I, I can't put a date on anything at this point. Um, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, things are, are happening for sure. Well, I'll drop your social media below and uh, you know people can oh, check yeah. that out. Um, that's cool. I think there was more thing I wanted to ask you about. Oh, it was, uh, you said you're doing childcare and doing, like, <laughs> yeah. all, you're doing like online school for like young kids. Yeah. That sounds so the way that, really difficult. Yeah, it's terrible. The way that uh, <laughs> that metro schools in Nashville are working is, is elementary schools online. So I worked with this after school care, but uh, now that they don't go to school anymore, it's basically, you probably heard of like kids getting together in pods and doing like school, like online school in pods. It's kind of like a big one of those with 20 kids and we, uh, well, more than 20, but 20 that in my room. Um, and <laughs> yeah. they don't know how to read or write yet. And so operating a computer is difficult. Um, and so it's just like a lot of, you know, helping them get on class, learn how to read, talk to their right. teacher, things like that. But, uh, but it's, it's uh it's a lot of fun it really is i think yeah. it's i think it's stressful but it's a lot of fun so that's cool i think we really 
that is interesting. I never thought about that. The fact that you're doing online school, but like with a group of kids, how that would be kind of contradictory. Mm-hmm. I guess the pod is what is the explanation. So the idea it's they're coming in contact with a little bit, I guess, smaller amount of like adults. And because I guess that's the real right. thing with kids is they're worried about adults, like catching it from each other, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I don't really understand. I just know that that's where I go to do my, do my job. To do your job. That's cool. <laughs> I, do, that's but cool. They, I do what they tell me to do. Yeah. Um, but it, cause it's not even the school's decision. It's like the whole state. So it's like, right. It can't be. Yeah. Anyway, it's many levels of out of your control, you, you, whether, whatever your opinion is on it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, that's cool. Um, you know, so one, I guess the thing I want to end or, or the big thing for every episode is I, I want to ask people if they just have like a piece of advice, like we'll have different life stories and they're going to be a lot of different people, mm-hmm. hopefully from across all around uh, the world. And uh, yeah, so I'm just curious if you, uh, have like just a piece of advice or maybe some sort of like life principle you go by that you can share with us to just help, you know, make all of our lives a little bit better. Yeah. Um, I think that one of the, one of the most important things that I've learned in my very short 23 years of living is to, uh, surround yourself with people that are better than you at whatever it is. Um, which for me is really difficult because, and for a lot of people, I'm sure, because you want to be the best at whatever it is in the room. You want to be like the most talented or, you know, uh, well-spoken or well-read. But the way that you grow and you learn is by finding people that are smarter than you and better than you. Um, And that's something that I think I really came into my own pretty recently, or, or I guess started like applying to my own life when I, started realizing that, you know, I've got all these friends that are so good at so many things and your options are either like be jealous and upset about it or be like, this is the, this is like a really good thing for me. I like, I have friends that are, that are so much better or more talented or, or put in more effort into these things. And then hopefully you're that for other people too. But, um, but I think that's how you become a well-rounded and a really, you know, uh, uh, you, you come into your own talent that way by being around people that are really good. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's, that's one thing that I've, that I've learned lately. I think. I think that's a really good piece of advice. And, and since we so happen to, you know, share the same profession, I can definitely say like, mm-hmm. I can relate to that. I mean, I, I think anyone can, but specifically with music and doing what I do too, like I do, it is hard because there can be ego and it can be hard to like, it's hard to like, uh, keep learning from people and keep being like, Oh, this is good that I'm not the best at this. Like that I'm surrounded by if, yeah, you're right. It's a gift to be surrounded by people who are uh, more experienced in a, in a, like different totally. fields or skills and that you can learn from. And, you know, oftentimes people are excited to share that with you when you just ask, you know, so. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. That's beautiful. Cool. Well, that's Grant Parker. Thank you for coming on to the first episode A friend of a friend. Uh, final question is who, so this is where it begins, right? You're my friend. And now I would like to meet a friend of a friend. Is, is there anybody that, you know, I can know them or not know them, but is there somebody that just inspires you? Somebody that you, um, you know, would, wanna, would want to bring on the show that could help inspire all of us? Yeah. Uh, I, I think I'm going to, I was trying to decide throughout this whole thing if I'm going to throw a curveball or not. I think I decided that I am with, with, uh, a non non musician, but definitely an artist. Uh, I would. I think that Gentry Wigington would be awesome. Um, cool. Dude, he is a very very dear friend of mine. He is a uh, partial owner of Living Waters Brewing in Nashville. Does the uh, coffee program there and is really really good at what he does. Is also like being a, surrounding yourself with people that know more than you is like a Bible scholar that I you know, love to learn from and talk to. Um, I'm sure he wouldn't call himself that, but <laughs> he's really, he's, he's really well, well read. Um, and yeah, I think it'd be cool to talk to him and see where he leads, uh, leads the conversation. Um, yeah, totally. Absolutely. So. I happen, obviously I know Gentry as well. Uh, mm-hmm. I, but I, and uh, so he's still a friend, but he's a friend of a friend now. And it's, uh, it'll be exciting to have him on next. I think that's a really great person to do. So, uh, I, will, I guess the way this will work is I'll contact him and, uh, you know, hopefully he'll say yes. But uh, if he doesn't, I'll, I'll come back to you. Uh, <laughs> cool. And we'll find out next week. We'll find out next week if we got Gentry. And if not, 
we'll uh, have someone else that you recommend and uh yeah sounds thanks so great much, man. man thanks so much for coming on absolutely it's good yeah. to see you good to see you good too bye. have a good night man you bye too.